mysterious object collides with a black hole and leaves astronomers puzzled. On August 14, 2019, a gravitational wave, a massive ripple through the fabric of space-time, washed over our Earth. This wave was detected by sophisticated fine-tuned lasers in the U.S. and Italy. It was astonishing. While the lasers previously picked up black hole collisions and neutron star collisions, they were now suggesting something unprecedented, that a black hole smashed into a neutron star. The signal was one of the strongest ever seen by gravitational wave scientists at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory and Italy's Virgo Observatory. And after an alert was sent out moments after its detection, the teams of astronomers across the world tuned their telescopes to the point in space that the wave emanating from came. But their searches came up empty. There was no light, no x-rays, no infrared, and no gamma rays. The event was very puzzling, and it became more puzzling as scientists began to pour over the data. Researchers from LIGO and Virgo collaborations detailed their full analysis of the gravitational wave detection, dubbed JW uh, GW190814 in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and uh, it's the first detailed study of the epic cosmic collision, and it only deepens the mystery. GW190814 is, I think, the first time we've observed gravitational waves, where the source of the waves is genuinely puzzling. This is what Rory Smith said. He's the astrophysicist at Monash University in Australia. He said, I've been in LIGO for just 10, over 10 years now, and it's certainly one of the most exciting events we've seen. The key to the research are the two LIGO facilities and the Virgo facility. They can detect gravitational waves, extreme astronomical objects like black holes and neutron stars send out waves across the cosmos when they collide. The facilities essentially listen to the sounds of massive cosmic beasts colliding with each other and then working backwards to understand their physical characteristics. Smith and his colleagues have been working on simulating these types of collisions using supercomputers. They help perform the back calculation and can infer what the objects are, like their likely masses and their whereabouts. He said, we use fancy parallelized algorithms which can run our analysis on a supercomputer cluster containing many hundreds or thousands of individual computers. Running the same analysis on your laptop would have taken around 50 to 100 years. The observations show GW190814, the pair collided during a deep corner of space, 800 million light years away. One half of the pair is definitely a black hole, about 23 times more massive than our sun. But its dancing partner is mysterious. The other object is only about 2.6 times more massive than our sun, which puts it in a weird position. It could be a neutron star that possibly is still on the table, but it might also be a black hole, and that's a slight problem. Smith says it's hard to explain how either a black hole or a neutron star could be around 2.6 solar masses. Scientists never detected a black hole that's so light. Neutron stars are not expected to be that heavy, they collapse into black holes when they get too big. So the mysterious object seems to be a sort of Goldilocks star that does not fit our current understanding. So whatever it turns out to be, it will rewrite our knowledge on one of two of uh, the two extreme objects. It's intriguing. If it's an ultra-heavy neutron star, Smith says, perhaps even new physics would be required to explain it. If it's a light black hole, then our understanding of how and where the light-hungry cosmic beasts these black holes form will be rewritten. It's a win-win scenario for science, he says. GW190814 is only the second time a gravitational wave detect detection was found, has found a significant discrepancy in the mass of objects. A collision between two black holes detected April 12, 2019, and dubbed GW190412, showed a mass difference of over 20 solar masses. These great differences are incredibly helpful. They said they allow researchers to test Einstein's theory of general relativity. Both GW190814 and GW190412 
fit with Einstein's predictions, so we have not broken physics yet. But GW190814 is exceptionally rare. We've only seen one of these events in three years of observation, and it's going to be a while before we find some more. The LIGO and Virgo detectors have been shut down since March, ending their last observations run early due to the pandemic. It won't be back online until later. As Smith said, our detectors are currently being operated, so they will be more sensitive when they do turn on. At that point, we'll expect to see not only more systems like GW190814, but probably other unexpected sources of gravitational waves as well. And that leaves a lot of room to try and explain this mysterious object. Is it a black hole? Is it a neutron star? Theorists have a lot of fun work ahead of them trying to explain GW190814, Smith said. This is by Jackson Ryan CNET on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.